All right, what's up, guys? I'm back again. Another YouTube video. This time, I wanted to talk about a movement tool that's super underused for a lot of players. And uh, I know I had a video touching up on it briefly, but kind of wanted to make a separate video and just break everything down, kind of explain uh, to you guys everything. And that is dash blocking. So dash blocking is often mentioned by a lot of players, strong players, teachers, but uh, nobody really has explained the technique in detail and why it's so important. And I know, like I said, I had the video in the past, but uh, I was in ranks demonstrating it. Um, didn't really get to think things through and cover everything that I wanted to cover. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know more about uh, dash guarding and why it's super, super important to add to your game. So you see it all the time in high level matches without really realizing it. Uh, top players are constantly dash guarding, even several times around. And uh, you can see for yourselves, uh, it's basically a great way to get closer to your opponent and kind of break them down. You can learn a lot of information from just this simple tool. Every single time you go for a dash guard, you learn just a little bit more on your opponent. It sounds a little contradicting because why are you dashing into the opponent's face if you're trying to guard, you know? Shouldn't you just be backing up and be, be patient, right? Doesn't really make any sense. But that's kind of exactly the point. Combining offense and defense at the same time is perfect for hiding your strategy from your opponent. And if you do it properly, they won't know whether you want to dash in to start an attack or kind of bait out one of theirs instead. Here's another way to put it. So if you're only just backdashing and being defensive all day, waiting for the punish, you'll miss out on opportunities to be aggressive and to pressure your opponent, figure out the ways that they're guarding and defending. And on the other hand, if you're always trying to be the pit bull, always trying to rush down your opponent, you're not going to get a chance to practice punishing and movement, and your defense is going to have holes in it. So, for example, if you get knocked down, if you get comboed by the wall, you're not, you're not going to be in a, in a comfortable position because you're always used to attacking instead of defending. You can learn a lot about your opponent's offensive and defensive habits with dash guarding. And the, the good thing is you don't really have to put yourself at risk like you do when you're always attacking or you're always defending. Just kind of being predictable, one-dimensional player. So why dash block? Why, right? Let's just say if you guys were spaced out looking for an opening, you're gonna need a safe way to close the distance rather than just always attacking. It would be super predictable and more risky if you were to try to close the distance with an attack every time. There aren't that many attacks that reach far and they're often unsafe or unreliable. Plus, if I knew you know, every time an attack would come out when you move forward, then I could easily prepare for it and counter. Sometimes we need to slowly close the distance just using our footwork and nothing else so that we can keep our opponents guessing. All right, so how to dash block. Um, you know, dash blocking, knowing how to perform it and just doing it in practice mode, it's super simple. You simply just dash and immediately hold back to guard. Uh, it, gets a little, it gets a little harder and trickier as you learn more about it. For example, the sooner you press and hold back to guard, the less distance that your character will go forward, right? See how I'm doing smaller dashes there? You could also dash the full distance and then guard. I'll show you why this is more important later. But what you do need to know now, and it's going to be kind of difficult to use, is just learning to incorporate dash guard into the way that you are comfortable moving now with your character. Uh, so just sit in practice mode for a few minutes and kind of just move around working on your normal movement and trying to see if you can dash guard comfortably and like knowingly execute it without making too many mistakes. Since Tekken is super fast paced, you should always be thinking and strategizing, including when you're going for dash guards. So what should you be thinking about and getting ready for when you dash block? Well, the first thing I'm thinking about is punishing. One of the biggest benefits to dash guarding is being able to block punish the enemy attacks. And as I'm dashing in, I'm also visualizing the opponent throwing out an attack for me to guard and to punish. Or maybe to duck and punish, something like that. If you fail to punish enemy attacks, you know, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of using dash guard and you wind up putting yourself into bad positions. 
That's why above all else, you know, punishing is the most important thing to be ready for when you're going for dash guard. The other important thing I'll pay attention to is how my opponent will react once I manage to actually get up close. You know, not everybody is going to resort to using attacks. Uh, some players are going to be still willing to be defensive. They could still choose to wait on you to attack when up close, right? So are they going to panic or are they going to freeze as I move in? That's the important stuff to know. So once you start seeing a trend as to what's happening when you dash up close, you can start turning that information into adjustments. What I mean by seeing a trend means that you can't just make a conclusion once you see your opponent react a certain way just once. When you see things for a second or a third time, then that's when you can make more confident reads and begin downloading your opponent. And sometimes I'll even get clipped or take damage trying to go for dash block just to realize and figure out their habits and tendencies. And that's okay. I'm just trading a small amount of life for information that you know can last for a very, very long time. If you are getting caught dashing in before you can even block, then this can mean a few things. First thing might mean that you're dashing in a little bit too much or trying to cover too much distance. And you're not able to guard in time when the opponent throws out attacks. Try to work on having tighter dash guard or just doing shorter dashes before you before you block. And it's also likely that your opponent was going to throw out attacks even without you dashing in and trying to bait him out. And so in this case, you'd probably be better off just playing defensively and just sitting back and waiting to see if he'll be super aggressive no matter what, right? They're going to do what they were going to do no matter what, so whether or not you're going to try to bait them out doesn't really matter. And for players who are choosing to like still be defensive even when you do dash block and get in there, that just means that they're leaving the door wide open for you. You don't want to waste any time. At that point, it's not really effective to dash guard that much anymore since you kind of know that there's a small chance of you potentially baiting out attacks. These guys are going to be vulnerable to people who just dash in and quickly perform their mix-ups or their offense. They can just skip right through the guarding part. Yeah, so that was pretty much it, you know? Now that you got all this information about Dash Guard, you'll probably have a different perspective when you go back and watch a big TWT match. You know, Dash Guarding happens a lot more than you might have might have realized. Uh, but for now, it's time to jump online and see if I can try to demonstrate what I just taught against players who fight back, because you know, that's what I love doing. All right, so here we go. Sergei Gonna run a little dragon off here. So I think that he's got a lot of tools, got a lot of moves to work with, and we can kind of show uh, the dash guard a little better. Plus, he's also got the running attack. So if I figure out that they're not gonna attack me when I dash up close, then I can just use this move to get a big advantage. And then, of course, this is gonna be a big part of my game. Just warming up some of the attacks that I'll use in the ways that I might use them, like for example, dashing into down two, dash guarding into running two. A little bit more advanced, but. Uh -oh. A challenger. A challenger. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. Yeah, also keep in mind that like the way the opponents are going to react to you dashing in their space is going to change, right? Especially if you kind of have them figured out and you, you've been adjusting to the way that they're playing. So even if you think that you figure them out, like even if once I think I figured them out, I'm still going to be keeping, you know, mixing things up. I'm going to be keeping a balance and still rely on safer options just to keep it smart, right? I'm not going to commit to any more than I'll ever have to. And I'm also going to be paying attention on any potential adjustments Fight. that they might make. So let's start off just backing up. There's a dash block. There's the first one. There's the second one. Pretty passive. Already two chances to check them out. There's not much going on, so... Go. It's working already. Uh oh. 
got to look out for the flash when you're playing Yoshimitsu. He can Round kind of two. just surprise you out of nowhere. So when I actually manage to hit Yoshimitsu, sometimes I'm going to back off. Just, just to see, just to check. Oh, what the? <laughs> what the? Round three. All right, moving on. He's not really throwing stuff out in response to me getting up there, right? So stuff like that could be done. If I want to get in close. What is he doing? Four. Fight. Nice one. All right, I think it's time to go in with the lows. What? Whoa. This guy's got like. guys got like <laughs> oh man I probably was better off just defending waiting to see what he would do anyways because he was throwing out that launch punch would move a lot right anyways I'm still gonna try to work it in let's see let's Round see one. let's see Fight. All right, he's defensive oops so I'm going in and out, just giving him a chance. KO Round two. That time I'm just this time I'm just playing a little bit more careful. And I'm doing dashing into lows because that seems to be working a lot. Once I dash, he's not really reacting. Right? He's not really reacting. He's not really reacting. So that means that this would work. There we go. There's that giving him a chance to flash, baiting it out. You know what I mean? Fight. So still working in the dash guard just to make sure things are still the way they are. That's the second time he ducked my string. Very smoothly. Dash guard, dash guard. Oh, with punish. Flash. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. KO. So the final thing I want to talk about is just, you know, dash guarding into doing attacks. And that's different from, like, dash guard, dashing into attacks. Like I was doing dashing down two. Dash guarding and then attacking is different when you got players like this guy kind of who's super not really reacting to me dashing there. He's just super defensive and he knows not to be reckless when I get in his face, right? Not Because he, he thinks I might be baiting something out. And that's when you can take advantage of dashing in. Oh, chill him out for a second. Dashing in and then getting frame advantage. Or, if you want to counter hit him, you can kind of set that up. But Dragonov doesn't really have, you know, dash guard counter hit setups. Like for Brian, Fakumram, Fakumram could do like the both kicks. He could dash guard, pretend like he's dash guarding, and then do both kicks. Or whatever, right? Down two is still working against this guy. Oh gosh. Great. Round two. Fight. Wow. 
Wow, he keeps doing that. Down four, one four into the big sword launcher. time with the lows. And he's, still, he's still just letting me go, uh, dash comfortably in his face. And like I said in the video, you know. Round four. Like I said earlier, you know. You want to just jump right in and not waste any time. like once I've gotten up close with this player that's where he's pretty much at his weakest he doesn't like being forced to choose being like he doesn't like being forced to guard guess I don't know <laughs> 